Disclaimer. Warning. This video is a video about Ijon, BJYX. This video is only made for BJYX or ZSWW fans. If you don't like it, please don't watch it. If you are not Ijon Shiper, please don't watch it. If you're still watching it, I assume that you believe it. And if you are a new turtle, welcome to our family. All I'm going to tell you is CPN. 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 Accept it calmly and make good comments. It is strictly forbidden to comment harshly and vilify other artists. All sources in this video have been uploaded by other fans on their social media. I just collected and edited it to make it easier to understand. I put the account that I usually use as a source in the description column. Remember, all I'm telling you is CPN. Think wisely and with common sense in accepting it. Hi Chasher here. How are you guys? Today I will discuss secret visits. Maybe some of you have heard this. Okay, let's start the CPN. Some time ago during Chinese New Year rumors circulated saying that DD visited Gigi's place. What's the story? Here I will tell you a brief rundown of the incident. Firstly, DD's Douyin IP has been closed since February 2nd. The last time DD turned off his IP was when he was in Labrador, Inner Mongolia. That day, his post location was discovered by sisters in Hungian that he was only 6 or 7 kilometers away. In addition, DD's Douyin can be seen in the same Douyin city channel as sisters in Dongyang, Hungian. Second, this could not be a staff member, because DD's post location slowly changed the distance from 6 or 7 kilometers to 30 kilometers. Which meant he was on his way back, and he too didn't have filming in Hungian. And Solo was trying to wash this, said that it was because of DD's endorsed product offline store was in Hungian. But BXG was asked the customer service of the store and the customer service said that they don't have a physical store. And the distant was moving from 6, 7 to 30. How could a physical store be moving? Thirdly, both DD's Weibo and Wyo's Weibo Post's IP were in Beijing, which confirmed that the staff were in Beijing and DD went to Hangian alone. Fourthly, after discovering that after he was in Hangian, Wyo staff quickly posted an unnecessary advertisement on DD's Weibo account. Fifthly, what Hungian's sister said proves that it is easy to knock. I am a local of Hungian, and I can explain to you that it is still within the Hungian town area, 7 kilometers away. It should be at another hotel, and as far as I know, it should be at the Triple X Hotel. It takes about 15 minutes from Xiaozhang's VIP building to the Triple X Hotel, and the distance is also about 7 kilometers. Moreover, the Triple X Hotel is located at the intersection of Hanyan Expressway, and one can get to the expressway in 3 to 5 minutes after leaving the hotel entrance. One of sisters asked the makeup artist also that DD visits his brother. Some of them saw someone giving bucket of flowers to Gigi. More details. 1. There is a city channel on Douyin that will show posts from those in the city, can be switched off. 2. Anyone can open the city channel, but only those in the city can see the distance. 3. And if you are in the same city, you can see the posts and the distance XXKM. Conclusion, only if he's in Hungian can this happen. For more details you can see it in the video. I'll add some small details in the subtitles. Ha ha, 我看看是谁又幸福了。
。还有今天最期待的就是战歌晒的年夜饭。菜是毛血旺，对，因为是都是妈妈自己做的，非常有家乡的味道。那年的年夜饭，重庆的家乡味就不是很重，里面有小宝喜欢吃的小酥肉、粉蒸肉和可乐鸡翅。好好吃。我们家里有没有哪个年夜饭必须要吃的拿手菜？我比较喜欢吃可乐鸡翅，然后可乐，哦、可乐鸡翅，哇，好不加上菜、哦。所以是不是家乡菜不要紧？洛阳的羊肉汤。重要的是有人喜欢，有人就给他做，主打一个有求必应，宠爱到极致。大家好，我是王一博，我是肖战。龙年新春一致，祝大家龙年行好运，愿新年胜旧年。祝大家二零二四年龙行大运，龙光焕发，龙马精神，新年快乐。你说这堂越洗越垂，可咋整啊？彤姐前脚力震的刷到同城广告，是因为关联线下店，后脚就被贝斯打脸。官方客服回复称根本没有实体店，所以足以证明王那个波就是这样一点点离开横店的。而且还有姐妹看见了有人给战哥送了整数的花。花大概是早上十点左右送进去的，还挺多人知道。也就是说，战哥是收到花之后才上的班。姐妹说，有可能就是那种九十九朵一束的花。至于是不是玫瑰花，那个姐姐就说这个不能讲。真不愧是你，这是知道我太厉害了，怕你哥锤你就送花玩浪漫呗。哈哈，失踪二十多天的宝，这次不演雕了，演洗衣机实锤了。还有这些红 V 账号的辟谣都不能代表官方。渣浪虽然喜欢蹭热度，但他更知道他们就是粉丝，不能代表王一博方。所以热搜词条更正为粉丝称王一博不在横店。看来你们粉丝破防也没用，因为真正的蓝 V 官方啥也没说啊。某猪猪的逃跑后续来了。堂姐喜糖说，抖音发的是自媒体广告，会关联到他附近的线下店。那如果是关联线下店，为什么距离会越来越远？他从开始的六点五、七点一，再到三十公里，谁家线下店铺是移动的？所以这越来越远的距离，不更说明他是在回北京的路上发的吗？横店本地的姐妹说，七公里还是在横店区域内的另一家酒店，定位显示的地方距离战哥的酒店开车十五分钟，而且这家酒店就在横店高速路口边上，出酒店三到五分钟就可以上高速了。所以，从关 IP 再到横店同城暴露，这不就连起来了吗？童姐以为找到的救星，小宝微博 IP 显示北京，但抖音的活动本来是不用在微博发的，因为之前的丫丫抖音活动他就没发到微博，所以这欲盖弥彰，除了越描越黑更好磕以外，唐氏一点也没洗成啊！看吧，我们根本不用急，因为王那个波会自己踹门的。哈哈，你果然在横店啊！今天我们终于等到了一博，除了收获惊喜与激动的同时，你居然被在横店的小姐姐杀到了。小姐姐表示她是去看笑兔兔的，结果在抖音同城杀到了小宝，而且显示距离贵宾楼七千米。啊，所以是他疯了还是我疯了？这样不但横店同城实锤，也证明他特意关掉 IP 就是掩盖他现在在横店的事实。但百密一疏，你关了 IP 地址却忘了关同城。以至于让很多在横店的姐妹以同城的方式刷到了你，你以为这就完了？姐妹还问了剧组的化妆师小宝去探班没，他居然给他点赞了，而且还连续点赞两次，哈哈，又多了一个人证明探班了。还有给我们分享小宝歌单的人脉姐妹，她特意去看了看 IP， 真的是在浙江，所以同城探班都锤成这样了，还不客等啥呢？肖老师，我们全网首图抓猪又成功了，现在肯定汗流浃背了吧？这是整活要把表叔炸出来啊！自从街舞总决赛现身后，小宝至今失联二十四天了。从之前的从容接受父爱无声，你们幸福就好。然而随着失联时间的推移，已经从老爸变成了表叔，连王字都没有了。今天爸爸都带着锁儿和库迪追到了哥哥的横店，这是把压力给到战哥，让他提醒王那个波要冒泡吗？我说那个表叔快营业吧，看把我们都饿成啥样了，再不出来就都要去扛走夏老师喽。知道你们有过年要见面的仪式感，但这探班做到腿上称重的狗粮也不能可着工作人员霍霍啊。夏老师都当着那么多人坐上去了，还差多几个龟龟看吗？还有就是上次是夏老师在效果的春晚态度里做了当事人。所以这次和博君艺校一起过情人节，该轮到你做当事人了。明天就是情人节了，就快点出来秀给我们看吧。
哈，果然他就是故意暴露的。终于知道小宝为啥不早不晚的暴露童真位置了，因为他只有开启童真模式发视频，才会让我们看见这七千米暴露的位置，刚好就是雷迪森庄园酒店。你看，就连虾姐都看出他的小心思了。他秀的酒店正是小白里为神官大人加固的爱情碉堡。所以他不故意秀我们怎么梦回雷迪森碉堡，也因为小宝为他加固的密码锁被私生弄坏，所以他才生气发了博文。所以你猜他为啥每次都是吃饱喝足才暴露？他那是傻吗？他是爱秀又怕秀早了睡沙发啊。所以合理怀疑他上演的逃跑戏码就是做给我们看的。更是做给瑟瑟发抖到汗流浃背的他哥看的，所以王一博根本不需要李问汉那样的队友，因为他自己就是大漏勺。On February 11th, a fake story appeared which said, "Xiao Laoshi is a person who pays special attention to the sense of ritual. Whenever it's Chinese New Year, it must meet Wang Laoshi." So it's not surprising that DD rushed to Hengjian during the New Year, and it's close to Valentine's Day. That's why he also gave flowers. That was video for today. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.